if the value function does not work, so for example here we've got some numbers, they don't seem to be working as numbers, if we try the value function it still tells us that it can't work. What we need to do is find out why Excel is not recognizing it as a number. So if I look here, let me try, I'm going to delete the comma, and it looks like Excel suddenly recognizes it as a number. So I now know that what we need to do is somehow get rid of these commas. So the formula we can use is a formula called substitute. And what this formula does, you tell it where the text is. So I'm going to say, please look there. You tell it what the old text is, the thing you want to get rid of. So notice it's the comma, so I'm just going to put a comma in here. What's the new text? So I'm going to replace it with nothing. So by, to indicate nothing, I'll just put two inverted commas next to each other. And in this case, the instance number, we don't want to specify it. We want all commas to be removed. When I say OK, and I copy it down, you'll notice that it goes away. Here you can see it's still not seeing it as a number, but now if we try the value function, you'll see it can convert it into a number, which now adds up. Similarly here, if I look here, let's see why this, let's first see if this would work with a value function. So again, it gives us a problem. If we come here and we investigate, if you notice there, it looks like there's two spaces there. If I get rid of the two spaces, again, it seems to convert. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the substitute again. I'm going to tell Excel, go look at that cell, find the old text. So I'm going to put inverted commas and hit the space bar twice. Close the inverted commas. The new text is two inverted commas next to each other to say replace it with nothing. When I say OK, you'll see it gets rid of it. And again, we need to use the value function just to make it a final number.